pretty aggressive move, but so is three pounds. He might be out of lap time now. So anyway, we gotta go to Walmart and get a laptop Sent us a, bunch, a little care package with some hats, some stickers. You gotta represent. You know, support those who support us. Before we get started, uh, you know the thing, the process is know where you're at. So you want to document. Um, not only like where the shocks are at, but check over your tune and have good starting point because especially on these uh, race week type of deals, you get only two or three shots at the track and uh, you got to make them count. So uh, I always go and I document exactly where the shocks are at, compression and extension. If you don't remember my shock video, you always start from full tight and then count backwards. Because a lot of people have had their hands on this car, we're gonna go through the boost controller, go through the timing, um, just go through the whole setup of the car and just get a good baseline. So Red, what are you doing right now? Just cleaning up this timing table. Just trying to make some small adjustments to help us figure something out on this first pass. Yep. So we're gonna hope for the car to go to the 60 foot and not spin the tires. So if we go out there and the heat's on the track and it spins, well, not only do we not learn anything from the spin, but the grass is hot, or the track is hot. So we're gonna have to wait a few hours. If we don't have that few hours, then it's kind of crisis out. management time. Yep. We gotta go down, we gotta go down, we gotta go down. You really gotta race your track and that's literally what'll win that class. And one like free tip for you guys, if you're building a race week car, we're probably giving away too many too many of our tricks up our sleeve that was always made to Nova go down but you know you got a 15 gallon cell that you're driving to the track on yep. and most people try to run it empty well if you're showing up to a hot greasy track and you want it to ride the back tire fill you just fill that fuel tank up you know and that's ballast it's free you don't have to bolt anything on and then when you leave the track you can go straight already, to the next track so, exactly. uh, so that's kind of some tips we'll give you some more along the way but we definitely want to document what we're doing because uh, I think we got a pretty good ingredient yeah. usually. We got a pretty good set of ingredients that we use to race race week. So. Yeah, day one, uh, Rowdy Radial and El Toro. It's the only car we got running. It is. It's our most trusty unit. Uh, this car is kind of unique. If you haven't followed the, the El Toro series, you should check out our YouTube. But we built it in eight days and it's literally had almost no love ever since. Like we've done what had to be done on it, but I mean, it's very much- It's been used yeah, and abused. Yeah. It's been, so, a rental, it's been a rental race week car. Yep. It's been a it's Christmas survived. tree race week car. And it's typically put up after it gets used and then don't even get looked at again until the next time it's ready to come out. After sick week, we parked it at the TVM garage and I didn't look at it until last week. It changed oil, spark plugs, did a couple of wiring things and now it's ready to go. We haven't even touched it, raced it since. So the cool thing about this week is this car has always been like an index car, kind of like uh, it's whatever, you know, put an 850 class, but yep. this week, heads up, eighth mile, small tire turbo racing, and that's what me and yep. Red do. I'm so, pumped about the eighth mile deal. Like, this thing's never been you, beat on like this You can before. stretch one out pretty good in the eighth mile, you can't get away with some of that stuff in the quarter mile. 
So very much like the tune in this thing has always been neutered down, low key. I mean, it's only got like 12 degrees of timing yeah. in it. So we have like Menser shocks on it. We got a good turbo. We got the Hall Tech on it. We got good tires, good suspension. Like this thing has all the ingredients to go really fast. And uh, it's gonna be fun to just kind of play around with it and see where it goes from the beginning of the week to the end of the week. And our yep. goals are like four seconds, 490. 499 with a nine with a tailwind will make me happy. But more importantly, we want to win the class. But there's some stiff competition this week. Some guys that have already gone for us. Um, yep. But as you know, race week is as much about survival as it, it is. is going fast. Survival, and then like I said, the northern races, the tracks are a little up and down. Yep. Prep, you may not get at this track what you get at the next track, so and we're do your homework. And we're running a 26 inch radial, which is not great in the heat on a non radial prep track. True, but, true. So we're going to be fighting that a little bit, but it's going to be fun. And uh, probably if we're lucky, we'll have a few trailer flips in the middle of it. And, uh, we'll plan one by the end of the week if it doesn't just happen sporadically. Yeah. And don't forget, if you're coming out to watch, bring us some stickers for the car. Age appropriate is a family car. <laughs> seen the time slip and the scoreboards aren't working here but the car went down it was a pretty soft tune-up I kind of got a number in my head of what I hoped it run but we'll see um, but the main thing is it went down went down we could always pick that thing up my fear was it was gonna spin because it's hot man it's hot and the racetrack's greasy you know what I mean but, uh, there's six or seven good cars in this class it's gonna be tight racing so I'm gonna uh, get back to the pit and get the slip and hopefully I got something to be excited about. Uh, El Toro just went 127 to the 60 foot on a hot greasy track which is our most important number. We have, I mean in my opinion, don't you think Red Dow go down any track? That's pretty decent passing with 535 at 130, almost 132 mile an hour so that's actually El Toro's personal best eighth mile at almost 6,000 feet of elevation which is pretty impressive so it's got a lot to go we started on setting number one we got five mapped out and we can even go more if we need to we just didn't think it would be this easy this quick so we're gonna go right from uh, the second style or the second no, stage of boost ramp to third which is a lot more aggressive so we'll see what it'll take should pick it up early. I'm thinking that like probably the best of that round did they, did they announce them they probably it was like 525 I, I, like I couldn't hear nobody so, so I don't know uh, I we got a good starting the point, man. After us, like, uh, a bit yep. it's a plastic tub. I mean, I we got. Know what the cars in front of us. You got to remember too. You're on day one of five, and you have to drive 1,400 miles through the mountains. So a 5:30 to turn in on the first day ain't bad. If somebody has a bad day, second day, third day, fourth day, really skews the number. So, but if we can get maybe like a high five team, yeah, I'll be real happy. We got with nothing first day. to lose. Yep. We got a 5:30. 530 average in this class is pretty good. We won it with Andy's car on the 530 average. So um, I think we got nothing to lose. Try one more. Let's see what we our tune-up does for ET and then go from there. Yep. That's what we'll do. Went 131 mile an hour and Red's like, man, shit going a little faster, you know, mile an hour wise and stuff. So we start looking at it and we decided we're gonna add three pounds on the launch, which is a lot. Um, we're going to so, take a big step. We're yep. going to take a big step. Front shock, seven clicks, which is a pretty aggressive move, but so is three pounds. You might be out of laptop. Oh, oh no. Or might not. Walmart and get a laptop now. <laughs> Download some stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You could probably see it on camera fly off the roof. Dude, that was worst case scenario. So Tech Tip Tuesday, don't leave your laptop on top of your car when it's windy out because you're going to be buying a new laptop.
Blaine, obviously everybody knows Blaine because he just kind of uh, became part of the motion family. But so did Michaela. She's uh, not been on camera nearly as much as Blaine, but she decided she was going to join in on all this stuff. So her and Blaine and Dad, Tom, have been building this Fox body, and it is sweet. It is very much kind of like a very 90s retro feel, yeah, early 2000s. Like from the factory. Yeah, so your dad's like kind of from that era is when he started getting into hot rods. Yeah. So they got themselves a Vortec, beautiful sheet metal intake, small block Ford. It's a true, you know, we're keeping Ford stuff together this week. <laughs> because we already had a pretty solid pass under our belt and you know you gotta you only have a few passes so yep. you know if you got tomorrow and you try to do that same you know start easy you never learn anything if you don't make some big leaps at some point especially if you have good stuff under your belt so just gotta we back it down a little know, bit yeah. loosen yeah. up the front and find the middle it's a very fine down. line because if, if we would have done a couple things different it might have left but then went on the bumper whatever so we'll get Before that, Red had programmed like three boost settings, just a little more spicy from like a uh, second and a half on. And uh, so it actually ended up making a boost we wanted to and then some, so it went past and hit a boost overcut. But it was riding out before that, so we know if we dial down the overall boost, it's gonna be a lot faster pass. So we didn't really make a better pass, but we came up with a bunch of knowledge that we can apply to the next track because I'm pretty sure that'll go down almost a gravel road. So. We are gonna pack up tonight and start driving to Kearney while it's cool out. Something I normally don't do, but it's hot out right now. So we're gonna try and save the car, save everything, save ourselves, and try and drive while it's cool out. So we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe button, and follow along throughout the week. We've got a video coming.